Well, anyway, if you've been watching the news, it's been a royal baby alert. Yes, Prince William's wife, Kate Middleton, went into the hospital for labor um, for the baby. And so we have no word yet. So even if the baby's born, is it born or is it not born? We're just going to have to wait for right now. Hmm. I think they're waiting for, what, the timing for England. <laughs> I think that's what they're waiting for. <laughs> and then we'll see what color hair the baby has. Well, probably we'll have no hair. Anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And the royal baby watch is on. Yeah, well, right now it's like hour 11. And I mean, no, the baby, they've been in labor since about midnight uh, hour time on the West Coast. So I'm assuming the baby has either been born now or there's some complication going on. They're just trying to. No, doesn't the first baby take a long time? Uh, first babies can take a long time or they can take a few minutes. Generally, they don't let babies take a long time anymore. Oh. They just come Oh, yeah, because it costs too much, so they just give them a C-section. Yeah. But, I mean, it is Kate Middleton. It's not like she's well, just like an ordinary citizen. Well, I don't want to damage her, uh, her figure being seen in a tiny bikini when she's not supposed to be wearing them. But I don't worry. She just made... Oh, I know what it is because she doesn't like to wear bikinis. They don't want a scar there, so... Ah. They do cosmetic surgery and move the bikini, move the C-section scars anymore. Oh. It's a big business. Well, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, this time, I mean, um, I'm listening to the people on the news yesterday. You know, Baynard and McConnell are no longer even doing the news shows because of the fact that they can't answer the questions. I mean, like, one of the people... On they can't the answer the questions. They can just talk with the Democratic talking points. Well, I know, but they're, they're saying they're... You, you basically traded off the canceling of people that the courts the next day said couldn't hold office and got nothing in return. You tell me how that benefits. Well, they, they, they were afraid that was going to be questioned. They said so far, every time the president has basically said, kiss my ass, the McConnell and Boehner have went and done it for him. Now with McCain jumping on, McCain, we've got to change the laws in this nation. We have to target 50 House members for removal. Mm -hmm. You know, that's basically, uh, the, okay, they said that right now McCain is uh, Republican in name only because he's now joined the Dem They're assuming that he knows he can't get reelected as a, de a Republican in Arizona, so he's going to run on a Democratic ticket. And they never win. I mean, every time they jump parties, when you jump from Republican to the other party, you never win re-election. Mm -hmm. And it's all over for the Republicans. No, she likes it so much. She said it again. Well, yeah, that's because Obama has to lay out his agenda for the economic recovery. Well, yeah, I know. Everybody sort of thought that he, okay, he does that every year, and it goes nowhere. But, but his reason why, if the Republicans stop, you know, quit stopping my plans, well, no, the Democrats vote entirely. I mean, he's almost got unanimous support against anything he wants to do. His idea is spend more money, stop the, stop the. You know the the whatever it is the the problem he did the sequester which he created spend more money on infrastructure spend more money on green spend more money on schools spend more money on this spend more money like that and that will make the economy grow well he's tried that and it didn't make the economy grow and it, but the Democrats basically if you've dug a hole that is ten foot deep and too far, too deep to get out of well just keep digging the hole deeper. And you might be able to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, it never works that way. And Obama is to lay out the agenda for economic recovery. You know, she is how you oh. slide because she doesn't be as the Well, that's because John McCain has jumped the Democratic Party and all but name. Uh, I know. Like, like, and to think he was a Republican candidate for well, president. Well, no, because they have told him because he, that he has no chance at his age of getting... Okay, Kyle knew he couldn't get reelected. Kyle quit and was replaced by a Republican. McCain knows that basically he's running as a, as basically let all the Latinos in the state of Arizona that want to come there and be, and have the state pay their bills candidate, and that doesn't go over well in Arizona. The state, most of the Democrats don't want the, the, the state is basically, it's, they have an open door, federal government has an open door policy for anybody that wants to come through, terrorists. I mean, my guess is that if the Russians wanted to invade the United States through Arizona, the President of the United States would escort them across the border personally. So, mm -hmm. And McCain knows he's not going to get reelected. McConnell is now getting a challenge in, in his home state. The challenge they have to worry about it was never from um, 
and actually Judd, it was from the Republicans. Republicans are putting up another candidate that basically is a strong financial conservative, believes in states' rights, believes that the Republican Party is heading down the toilet and that they get nothing for anything they're doing. And then he also said, yes, they said they're totally terrified of saying anything because this president is a black man. And he said, I'm not terrified about saying things about you being black. And he said, oh, but aren't you black? And he said, you're damn right. Mm -hmm. That would be a big one to elect another black senator from the South as a Republican. Ooh. And pro Clinton super PAC hires Obama for the 2012 field organizers. I know. I mean, this woman cannot run for president because they're going to hit her with her refusal to testify over the Benghazi thing. All they're going to do is, is bring her up. I mean, every time that she comes out, the Republicans are going to hit her with that. Plus the fact that Republicans can get away with hating Hillary because she's white. And she's also going to be 72 oh. years old. You're not going to elect someone. You're never going to elect a senior citizen in this nation. Those days have gone by because even the seniors won't elect them now. And Washington IRS office played role in scrutiny case Republicans. I know. The Democrats. At no time did they do this. There's no evidence to support the fact. Well, what about the guys testifying in front of Congress that says that they were working there and the orders came from there? Well, that doesn't count because the Democrats said that it never happened, so therefore, okay, go back with the eraser. The guy from the, you know, the general counsel and the, and the cabinet member basically never had any conversations with them. That never happened, according, oh, they have to go back with the little eraser and remove all the electronic things talking about where he admitted he did, so. And Kruger, um, or Kroger, agrees to buy grocer Harris Teeter for two and a half billion. That means they've raided their pension funds again. <laughs> that. Oh, my, no. My mother worked for Kroger. My mother was a... Uh, head of their bakery department for a decade, and, and when she got ready to retire, she got 40 bucks a month. That's ridiculous. Yeah, after, after all that 10 time? years, and they basically, what it was is they used the pension funds to buy other companies to increase the size of the companies, never understanding that the economy might go backwards. <laughs> and Senate gang orders lobbyists to target House GOP. I know. Can you imagine? Okay, I mean, they said um, Rubio's chances of presidential election went completely bye-bye when he, when he joined with the other people. They're wanting to remove 50 Republicans from the House of Representatives and replace them with people that, you know, that are more friendly to the president's requirements for this mm -hmm. nation. And BlackBerry chief admits a release of new phones in the U.S. was flawed. It didn't work like it was supposed to. It wasn't. Okay, how can you spend two years developing something, have no apps for it, and the system doesn't work right? It's a, you know, it, it's, it's why BlackBerry is basically worthless now, and it probably is going to become part of the AT&T company, and AT&T will basically turn it back to what it was meant to be, which was basically, a, it was the best uh, email and text thing in the cut world. At one time. And the people that have Blackberries absolutely love them. Because it's all about... It's, not it's about all about the email. Okay, they don't use those things for phones. They use them for contacts, and that's all it's used for. They, get, they have their entire life history of who they're supposed to be talking to and all of the text messages, all the emails. And they on, BBM each other. Yeah, so... <laughs> Which is Blackberry message. Yeah. Um, IRS workers watchdog in IRS, IRS scrutiny case to the face U.S. lawmakers. Oh, yeah, he's doing it again right now. Explain, well, this man was appointed by George Bush, and therefore he can't be trusted. He refused to tell you that re that progressives had been targeted. Yeah, uh, like the Spirit of 76, Freedom Broadcasting, and the targeting lasted 24 hours. Uh -huh. As soon as they found out they were Democrats, they pulled the targeting. Six, six companies that had patriotic names were targeted, because that's, that was what the computer threw out. Everything that had a patriotic name into it was, was targeted, Okay, if you didn't have a patriotic name, you got your approval and you were a conservative. Only companies, only things with, you know, like uh, the Thomas Jefferson Organization for Civil Rights. Mm. Uh, that one, that got targeted too. Didn't, okay, here's the part. Civil Rights, that probably wasn't a Republican organization. But the thing threw it, targeted, and then, oh, oh, sorry, we didn't realize that you were a black organization. And McCain goes after Stand Your Ground. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, in that Cruz something. avoids 2016 talk. Yeah, he is. Um, Cruz isn't going to run because he has no chance in this universe. You know, because the 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 left will eat him up 
And he's also, you know, they're not going to elect a Latino to this pres country's presidency. They got an African American, you saw what happened there. Uh, and uh, McCain, no, McCain is basically, if the President of the United States goes on television and condemns the Republicans, McCain is there right after he goes on TV and condemns it. This after, you can bet that, uh, you know, that he basically started talking at about 10.30, I'm assuming, but when the, within minutes of the, his press conference being over on how to save the nation, McCain will be pressuring members of the Republican Party to vote for all the programs the President's putting out. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, okay. That um, you, it, it's amazing that a dog can be selectively blind. For instance, if she doesn't get the food she wants, she's blind. If she doesn't get taken out, she's blind. But if she gets to go out for a run, all of a sudden her eyesight comes completely back. <laughs>